morning YouTube, Sunday the 24th, just a little update, <clears throat> I have just cleaned out, but um, thought I'd do a little update for you, because I just cleaned out and saw that this pair here, we've got chipping eggs this morning, there you go you can see the both eggs are having a go at it chipping away so they'll be out tomorrow both of them chip at the same time so that's good and I've got one clear egg in there I believe and uh, the other egg is chipping so there'll be babies tomorrow this pair, there's another pair of Sheffields. This pair here, <coughs> excuse me, I've just took a wire partition out in between here because that cot bed was going mad and he just didn't like anybody being in his box. But now they've been together for a week looking at each other through the bars, through the wire mesh I had there. And I think they'll be all right now. Pair of F1s, Sheffield Cross Pilots. Another pair of F1 Sheffield Cross Pilots on eggs. Their their eggs are a bit later than the rest. I've got another pair here. Let's open them up as we go along, so we can see the birds a bit better. That Cheddar Cop bird is one of the ones you've done the 17 and a half hours last year, along with that blue there, the white tail. For that. And here, got a fourth pair of F1s. And up here, these eggs were only laid the last two days. We've got a pair of pilots on two eggs at last. So, yeah. All going well. There is my fault, but there is going to be a complete change around again once these young ones are out. I'm going to move the boxes over to that side there so I can have an Avery on that end of the loft. That's why I've not plumbed in the sink or nothing yet, or finished that off because that's all going to come out again in about a month's time, obviously, when these young birds are weaned. I needed to put some more perch in here, but I haven't got round to it yet. I think this, this area is just a little bit too small, really, for eight pairs. I blocked off the top, because I just kept on going up there, obviously. They always head for the high spots, don't they? And I didn't like them up there. Again, that was only temporary because, like I said, I'm going to have. I think I'm going to put the boxes across that side there. If they don't fit, I'm going to make some that fit. So I'll have two rows of four across there. I haven't built the other shed yet. I've managed to clear an area for it. Gonna go there. The wife said no to another 12 footer. And I've got to do what I'm told. So I'm gonna put a 10 footer across there where them bricks are. But what I'm gonna do is this is a flying loft, so there'll be boxes right on the back and kit boxes along the side here so that I can let them out to an Avery which is gonna run the whole length of the shed and underneath the Avery underneath the Avery I'm gonna have the, uh, the boxes kit boxes for the droppers so I can let them out this side of the shed obviously so let them out here fly about get them back in through the Avery and have them so they can go back or even back in the way they come out 
but I'll be able to go through a door which is really on the end here and feed them from the inside of the shed. So really I'm going to have a five and a half foot by ten but I'm going to have an aerial on the front and all the space underneath the aviary is going to be used up as well. So really it's going to be five, it's going to be ten foot by about seven. So she didn't say about no less than five, no more than five feet. I'm just going with no more than ten feet, but that's between us. Yep. Yeah. Chipping eggs, so I'll have the young ones. I should have a lot of young ones this time next week. So you know I've got to get me I've got to get a wriggle on and build this other shed. And that way once these are moved as well, I'll be able to put a little aviary on the front for these stock birds to go in. Some more pairs together here because I think I'm going to have time for one round. So I'll put another pair around, another couple of these are Gordon Hughes Blues paired to my Prince, a Hembird, Cockbird, same again Gordon Hughes Blue and the Hembird. And down here I've got a Gordon Hughes Blue hen paired to a Black Cockbird and a Gordon Hughes Blue hen paired to a Black Cockbird. They are the Sky Masters, Suffolk Sky Masters versus the Sheffields and Equans. And we'll see how they fly. Right, thanks for watching if you have. Give us a like if you like. Until next time. See you later.